everyone, welcome back to my channel if you're a subscriber and if you're new here, hi, my name's Brogan and I make videos about sewing, fashion and all things crafty. I am super excited to be filming this video today. It's another chatty one for me because you guys seem to really love those and I wanted to talk you through some things that are new in my stash, some sewing plans that I've got and I've got a super exciting giveaway to celebrate reaching 50,000 followers over on my Instagram. I must say my sewing room is incredibly hot today so I may be relying on my emotional support fan as I film this so if I need a minute bear with. Why is that so good though? So without further ado, we're going to jump on into it. Make sure you have a lovely beverage because um, this could be a long one. Maybe not tea today. Maybe like an iced lemonade or something. First things first, before we jump into the patterns, fabrics, etc. I'm going to do quick talk through of what I'm wearing today. So I am wearing my newest shirt top, which I filmed a tutorial on with the matching skirt. Today, I've just actually paired the top, I'll show you, with these cute little shorts from H&M. I'm massive, I know. But this is super, super comfy, cool for the summer. So if you want to find out how I made this top and have a go yourself, then make sure you check out that tutorial. I'll put it in the description box down below. And second outfit point, I am so beyond excited because I found a new favourite jewellery brand. You guys ask about my jewellery all the time and it's really sad because the majority of it I bought ages ago and you can't buy it. It's called Anna Louisa, they're based from New York but their whole attitude towards jewellery making is just amazing. So they're a carbon neutral company they try and use as many recycled materials as possible in their jewellery and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So they did send me these bits but I'm blown away. I couldn't wait to share them with you and I'm definitely going to be buying more from them in the future. So the first thing that I got from them, if I come in a bit closer, are these earrings. So they're love heart earrings and just like the Swarovski ones that I always love, they're like the mini hoop with a dangly bit. Then the necklace so this is the necklace i love the length of it because it's kind of like that not choker not long in between and then it has look the little love heart pendant it is so sparkly i'm obsessed but i do believe i've saved the best to last which is the bracelet look how gorgeous it is it's got all these little flowers on and i actually have really small wrists so i tend to find that bracelets when I buy them are too big but it has three different bits that you can put the loop on and it fits perfectly so I am amazed really kindly they've given me a discount code for you guys as well so I will put that in the description box below for you to get 10% off oh this is gonna be a long video if I have to fan myself <laughs> every two minutes so this is a very exciting part of the video and I've been dying to share this with you. Hemline Gold is a new brand that I've just found. They have sent me the most gorgeous haberdashery stuff. I felt like it was Christmas opening this box. Again, their approach to sustainability and being environmentally friendly is something that I really appreciate. They try to minimise the use of single-use plastics in all their products. So not only are they gorgeous, but they're good for the environment as well. All their packaging is craft paper, even down to what they ship their stuff in is really well thought out. So I really appreciate a brand that puts that much effort into, you know, thinking about sustainability and how our products are going to last. The first thing is this new little sewing box. Um, it's literally stuffed full of stuff, so I can't even shut it but it's just so chic so obviously it's called hemline gold so it's pretty much black and white and then with gold hints i love it super cute it's a really nice size and then i've already filled it with all my new bits and then my old bits as well let me pick out some things that i'm going to show you so first of all they use a lot of glass in their products and it just makes it feel so luxurious for example yes these are safety pins they're in a gorgeous glass bottle 
and then why can't I get one out look at how gorgeous they are I use them all the time for putting in elastic and then look at the pins so I've got the pins in black and also white so they all come in their gorgeous little tins and then the same thing goes for their needles they're all gold tipped which just feels so luxurious and they come in the cutest little glass bottles as well some of my absolute favorite things that they sent me though are the scissors why is it that when you're a sore scissors are just so exciting and you can never have too many i already had a pair of these ones that i've shown in videos which i use all the time so i'm really happy that i have a second pair of these now um, because they're so sharp but they're also really lightweight and just really easy to use but now I have the matching pinking shears how gorgeous I've not used these yet but they just feel really sturdy and obviously they're gold as well who doesn't want gold pinking shears also I feel super fancy because I now have one of these really cool thread snippers so you literally just like do that and you can snip your threads i used these for the first time yesterday cannot believe how much better these are than using like little embroidery scissors that's what i've always used but it's just so easy to just get on in there last but not least for cutting tools is my brand new rotary cutter i have never owned a rotary cutter can you believe it i used one when i was on the show for the first time but I'm planning on doing a little quilting project soon. So I'm really pleased that I've got some new quilting bits. It's got an ergonomic design and it's got a really clever feature where the safety latch lifts up when you're cutting and then automatically goes back down again. So you're not gonna cut yourself. I am the clumsiest person ever. I literally sliced my finger with a kitchen knife the other day. Maybe that was a bit too much information, but I'm clumsy so that safety feature is great for me and then a few other quilting specific items they sent to me I now have these absolutely stunning quilting clips so I've got clear and black I think you know for a gift for someone who loves to sew things like this would be absolutely gorgeous because they're wrapped so nicely but also kind for the environment this is super cool I've never seen anything like this so this is like a crafter's multi board. So it looks like a book. It's in the same nice print as my sewing box, but it has so many different uses. This bit here is like a little um, cutting mat. So it's self healing. So you could use this for cutting out little quilting blocks, things like that. This side is like anti-slip. So once you're doing your quilting blocks, you can put them on here and they don't come off. And then you can also use it to iron on. And last but not least, I wasn't joking when I said that they sent me a ridiculous amount of stuff, are, look at my new quilting mats. Or are they cutting mats? Can you tell that I'm not a quilter? They are black and gold. I feel so chic. Um, so I've got the huge one and then a medium one. And then they also kindly put in their ruler. Clear, gold, this will be so handy for when I'm cutting out all of my little patchwork squares. Now, you guys know how much I love you. There is no way that I was getting all of these amazing new things and not thinking about you. I actually teamed up with Hemline to do an incredible giveaway. One here on YouTube, one on Instagram to celebrate getting 50,000 followers over there on my Instagram. And they put in loads and loads of stuff for me to give to you guys there's pretty much one of everything that i've just shown you i've split it all out into two amazing gift packages that i'm going to be sending out to two lucky followers or subscribers i am going to put all of the information on how to enter in the description box below by making it super easy one you need to make sure you subscribe to me here on youtube two give this video a like and three you're going to comment down below and tell me what your favorite item out of all the hemline items that I've just shown you is. I'm going to be keeping the giveaway open for one week so I'll be announcing the winner next Friday at 6pm when my other video goes live and if you want a second chance at winning the other bundle then you can head over to my Instagram it's at the crafty pie 
and I'm going to be giving away a second bundle over there. We're moving on to patterns and fabrics. I'm going to talk through some of my sewing plans, things that are new in my stash that I think you're going to love. Everything will be linked down below. Here we go. Let's talk paper cut patterns. I have never made anything from paper cut patterns before. However, recently on Instagram, I saw Samantha from the Purple Sewing Cloud. I'll put her Instagram here if you've not checked her out before. She makes some absolutely beautiful things. She recently made this dress. So this is the Estella dress by Paper Cuts. And you can see that it is a maxi or midi length dress and it has this amazing crossover wrap detail. Now, I think this is an incredible pattern because there's so many different ways you can wear it. So it gives you the option to have the dress crossed over at the front, but you can also completely turn the dress round and have the cross at the back and tie it that way. I thought it would be absolutely perfect for a wedding that I'm going to in August. I need something comfortable, but also cute. And I just thought this would be gorgeous and I will wear it 100% pregnant or not pregnant. Minerva actually really, really kindly um, sent me over these paper cut patterns. They have an incredible range on there. When you open it up, I must show you this. The booklet, it's like some sort of high fashion magazine. I feel like I've been gifted a sewing novel. The paper quality is gorgeous. And just like all of the imagery and everything is just, I've not really seen anything like it, to be honest, in a pattern book. So to me, I can see how the price is justified. The other two paper cut patterns, I am planning on sewing as a set. First of all, I got the Solar Tea which is this here. So you can see that it's got short sleeves and these gorgeous ruffles. Of course it has a ruffle on it. You've got the option to make it long sleeve as well in more of a sweatshirt style, which I love. And then to pair with that, I got the Tula pants or shorts, kind of like a loose fitting wide leg trouser. But again, it gives you another option to do more of a tapered leg. So it looks like a jogger. Overall, I think these patterns on Minerva are £25. I agree that that is like really expensive for a pattern. However, they give you so many options. I honestly feel like I'm going to use this in so many different ways. So actually, value for money wise, I ain't mad about it. Now, because Minerva are absolute babes and I love them, they also gifted me some fabric. I have no words. This is insanely beautiful. I saw this on Minerva and I just absolutely fell in love. It is a Lady McElroy. I'm pretty sure it's a linen blend. Could be wrong, but it basically has orange blossoms all over it. The colours are so saturated and just striking. You've got the oranges, you've got the pinks from the flowers here. The background is like the most luscious emerald green. I cannot believe how beautiful this is in real life. And I actually love how large scale the print is. It is really, really big. It's unlike anything I've ever sewn with before, to be honest. So I'm so excited to make this into something. This is going to be a super extra mum at home outfit. That I can feel comfortable in, still feel like myself and then just chuck on a denim jacket and go out for a walk with the pram and still look cute. Next up are a couple of baby bits to share. You guys really loved seeing the plans that I had for baby makes in my last chatty video so I thought I'd include a few more. These have been sent from a gorgeous small business that reached out to me on Instagram. They're called Eliza and Mac. They have a really beautiful range of jerseys and she let me pick a few bits. So I'm super grateful for her sending these over. I think she's had a bit of time off from her business and she's sort of starting it up again. So I'm sure she'd really appreciate some support and I'm going to link everything in the description box below. The first thing that I have, oh, again, this is just so cute. I feel like I need to buy myself a thesaurus and find some other words for cute because at this point it's just getting ridiculous. This is Jersey. It's like a cream background with white teeny tiny polka dots on. And then the happiest lemons I've ever seen. 
they're kind of a mustardy color which i really love i'm so into mustards and neutrals and things for for baby makes and to be honest with you i'm kind of hoping that i can do something for baby and then a really cute t-shirt for me as well because i really want to be able to match with baby crafty pie so if you're a sausage fan you're gonna want some of this dogs all over it it's an absolutely gorgeous inky blue jersey i'm thinking matching baby crafty pie item but then something for daddy because those two would just look way too adorable in something matching with sausages on and roger too how can i forget him 100 having a tiny bandana also this popper set I've got some navy snaps and then also a really lovely sort of lavender blue color. And then she also included the prim applicator. So it comes with all of the bits that you need to be able to put in. There's instructions on the back here for how to do it. Never used snaps before in my life until I was on the show. And I can remember being faced with these tools and not having a clue on how to use it. There was no instructions, they just handed it to me. So I appreciate the fact that this time I can take my time and read through this and actually work out what on earth I'm supposed to do. Last fabric I have to show you, and you can bet we were not getting through a whole video without me including something Liberty because I'm a fan. This gorgeous, gorgeous Betsy is from Alice Caroline Fabrics. Wow. I mean, even the camera, I'm glad the camera is showing how beautiful this is in real life. I mean, look at that. It's a neon Betsy. So it's lilac, but then it also has these like pink neon flowers on it. It's a bold claim right now, but I would go as far to say this is my favorite Liberty I've ever owned. I'm planning on sewing this up, hopefully into something gorgeous for my honeymoon. I'm thinking a really loose, cool button down dress that I can wear, you know, now and post baby as well. One of the main things that I love about Liberty Tanalons is just how buttery soft they are. Unlike other cottons, when you sew with them, sometimes they crush really easily and they can be a bit stiff, but the fluidity in this is just beautiful. They hang lovely, even gathers sit really nice. And should I just wrap myself in this and wander around? So my lovelies, that is everything that I had to show you today. I do actually have a few other packages coming in, but they just didn't arrive in time and I was desperate to film this for you because I definitely wanted the giveaway to go up this week. So I'm sure there will be another update to what's in my stash very, very soon. Make sure to check out the description box for links to everything. All the giveaway instructions are going to be down there as well, along with my link and discount code for Anna Louisa, which you should definitely check out because I'm going to be buying some more, that is for sure. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!